Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Path of Logic. Last time we kind of had trouble getting through with the plague zones. I learned a bit more about how they work. But I feel like before we do that, we got a potential lead on... I thought of a potential lead on what to do on day four to maybe save... Peter is his name? I don't even know who he is, honestly. But so yeah, we're gonna try that here before we do anything else. Oh, is it day three, actually? I loaded the wrong save. Well, that's fun. Okay, yeah, I'm right outside his apartment here. Peter is making that weird face on the map. He's dead. If you go to his apartment, nothing happens. My idea was, what if we go to his brother's pub instead? Because if you look on our list here, on Peter and Andre are the only people to save who we haven't interacted with. So if they're necessary, maybe finding this out is worth it. I mean, too, his pub is right here, and we don't even have to travel through the plague zone in order to get to him. Like, I can't see why they would put him on the list of people to save if he can just die randomly and it doesn't matter, right? I really think there's got to be something here, but... So if you look at the map... This is Andre Stomaton's pub. Is this... A... This is just some default guy though, right? Is he at one of these tables? Is he behind here? Is this Andre? This has got to be Andre. Who would have thought the blank is on our doorstep? So, let's come to this. Oh. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. He's kind of... Your brother's about to die. Oh. What? Okay. Well, we're getting some world building, but... And this is just learning where people can insult them. And we may as well get what info we can here, but... Okay, spare now. That's cool. I would have let my fists loose if not for these pins. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay, he just gave me alcohol. That's that's good to know. Yeah, you can get that from Okay, well learning. I would have let my fists loose. That's great. I do have a bottle of Twiren, whatever it's pronounced. I wonder if that's, um, hmm. I don't know, we'll go talk to Peter again, talk to him, maybe we can ask, um, Andre about him being in a plague zone, but other than that I don't really see much potential for progress here either, like no one's really doing anything. I don't want to look it up because the game's letting us progress here, I feel like I want my first playthrough, I should only get what advantages I can figure out on my own. Then maybe we'll, I don't know, if we'll look things up more for another playthrough or just see if we can like figure things more out by ourselves. I know there's a cloud behind me, so I'm gonna go ahead and slip into here. We'll go up, talk to my man. I anticipated that statue this time, so it didn't actually scare me. That's, that's good, I'm learning. Cool. Okay. Oh boy. Let's just talk about this. Okay, well, that uh, didn't get us anywhere, but now that we've talked to him, maybe if we talk to Andre, it'll get us something, although I would think that, um, like, if we had a potential plot point we're unlocking here, we would be more aware of it, right? Like, I'm sure they would show up in today's quest or whatever, because today's quest has got to be what we're doing to him. Um, save them, right? That's how it seems to work so far. I will say, um, given how much of the game is time dependent, I am kind of paranoid if there's something I feel like we need to talk to them in the morning or something, like if there is something I have to do and I've missed it or it hasn't yet happened. Because in either of those cases, I don't know how I'd like find that out other than just like hanging around them all day. Because the very least, even as cryptic as this game is, you'd think someone would hint towards it in the universe, right? Uh, yeah. Let's see. This is the place. Okay. Well, I mean... The thing is, we finished off the side quest. We can go... We talk to, um... That's Anna's house. I don't know if I already did this. We can go retalk to the, um... Sabarovs and the Glimskis, but I don't... I thought I already did that and it didn't get me anywhere. Maybe this is where you talk to the Changeling? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, there's these two.
It says something right there, some will have to die. I don't know if... I don't know if that referring to Peter or whatever, but... Okay, well... We already went to that before. I'm gonna leave that in that one conversation just to, cause like, that is kind of confirmation that people will have to die. Although I feel like it would be more, I'd expect it to be more meaningful, you know? Like just have some random gun or less die that we never talked to. It doesn't feel like what the goal you'd expect to be. Like, I feel like as something as dramatic as someone important dying, I feel like, you know, they'd give it a bit more fanfare in that, right? Like, you'd have to make a choice at least to their death or whatever. Not just like you, they just mark a random person on your list for death and then they just never give you the option to save them, right? I'm pretty sure I did this already before, because I remember that change line, that dialogue, but I don't know what else to do. Because, like, my one hope here is maybe with, um, having talked to them, to unlock some new conversation with someone here. Maybe with Eva would probably actually make the most sense. Cause like, the problem with that though is that they haven't actually given us any plot points. Like our two conversations were them, I'm pretty sure were just like the generic standard first meeting them conversation, like the placeholder. So it didn't seem like anything specific or meaningful happened during them. So I'm kind of suspicious of that being our trigger for some later plot event, but I don't know, maybe... My one thought was like when you talk to Eva and she says she wants to rewind to Byron and you go talk to um... that one guy after, but it didn't... I don't know. I feel like the game wouldn't differentiate from between where you got the Twyren from. And I didn't do anything last time. Like, it didn't even give us a quest, but we can go try it again. You don't have anything new, do you? No. Didn't think you would, but it was worth a shot. Now let me talk to them. Let's talk to Eva, because she seems like the person most directly connected to them in terms of, like, character, inter previous interactions, personality, that kind of thing. So... Nope, and she's got nothing for us. I mean, technically it could be the Keens, although I really don't see that happening. We'll try it for the sake of completion's sake, but I really didn't get the feeling we unlocked any like event flags during our conversations with the Stomatins, so it, I... It must be either something uh, time-related or... I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. Like, maybe you're just meant to let him die. I don't know. I feel like if you weren't, the game would draw your attention to it, you know? You got anything to say, Victor? Not really. Okay. We'll do the rounds, but I don't see anything happening here. I'm pretty sure we already... Like, we already did this once before, and I don't see... I don't see what could have happened, but what could have changed, but we'll try. Yeah, George's got nothing. Oh. Okay. Did we. No, we already did this before. Like, that's not... 
That's not today's quest. That's not um, anything to do with Peter. Like. See, I think at the top, I really think we need to do something to save him, but I don't know what we possibly could do. But I guess, um, we've reached an episode's length, so I'm just going to call it here. I'm going to proceed with under the assumption that we don't need to save him or can't save him. I'm getting kind of mixed messages and like, you need to save everyone, but some people are going to die. I don't know, we'll just play naturally, we'll just keep playing onward, see what happens. I mean, we've already had a replay through the first few days before, so... If we need to redo this all again, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but... I'm gonna go ahead and like, close the investigation on this here for now. And, uh, yeah, next time we'll continue on with day five. Thank you for watching.